Knock, knock. I'm afraid to ask. Who's there? Waddle. Waddle who? Pacing is one of the many things that's under your control in the editing process. And editing can make or break your film with the right pacing. We'll talk about all of that on today's Two Real Guys. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. And I'm Norman Holland. And welcome to The Two Real Guys. Norman, the American cinema editors have an event every year called Invisible Art, Visible Artist, where editors talk about their craft. Because that's exactly what most editing is, an invisible art. As editors, we call ourselves chameleons because we don't necessarily have one style. We change from film to film depending upon what the film needs. You know, I think that's a really important point because many people say, well, what, you know, what's the style of that editor? And it isn't the style of the editor, it's the style of the film. You know, although it's true that you can change your editing style from one film to another, when you're starting out, having a couple tips can be really useful. Mm -hmm. And one of those that I learned a lot from when I was getting started is that wide shots help set the location and the actors inside the environment where close-ups can help establish the emotion of a scene. Mm -hmm. But it's the change from one shot to the other that helps to accent a moment. Right, like if you've been in close-ups for a while, then dropping back wider will tell the audience subliminally to pay attention because something is changing, something is happening. You wrote a book about this called The Lean Forward Moment, which I think speaks directly to this point. Tell us what the lean forward moment is. It's that moment or moments in a scene where you're really delivering an important emotional storytelling point. So what you want to do is have the audience inside lean forward and pay a little bit more attention there. And you do that by changing something in the filmmaking. You go from close to wide. You go from wide to close. You begin a piece of music. You have a dolly shot that you haven't had earlier in the scene. We had a chance to deconstruct a scene in one of the earlier episodes. I'd like to do that now and take a look at a specific scene from a film called Potter's Field. Right, so of course, the most important thing to start with is what's the whole movie about? What's the log line of this movie? And Potter's Field, which was a student film, therefore made on a very, very tight budget. It's a short, about 14, 15 minutes long. Um, is a film about Daryl, who's a 17-year-old, who dreams of leaving his poverty trailer park existence and taking up acting. But uh, he has to figure out a way of burying his uh, older brother, Sebastian, who he doesn't really like at all, who suddenly dies at the beginning of the film uh, without any money, without any support. So the overall arc of the film is him figuring out how he should treat his brother with respect in death uh, in a way he didn't when he was alive. In this scene, Daryl is talking to a representative from a funeral parlor who's actually instructing him on the best uh, ways to bury him. All that Daryl's really concerned about is getting rid of his brother in the cheapest way possible. But this is also the moment when he realizes it's not going to be as easy as possible. So it's that moment when he realizes that, that's the lean forward moment of the scene. So uh, here's a script for this scene we're gonna be looking at from Potter's Field. And Maury is the funeral director is talking to Daryl um, about uh, coffins to bury his younger brother. He's going on and on about polished oak motif, about lily floral designs. When he sees Daryl's blank stare, he goes, are you sure I shouldn't be talking to your mom? Then it says, Maury's not surprised. The facade is over. So here is something that the scriptwriter has called out. Something's changed. And Maury says, listen, the money has to be up front. I'm sure you understand. Daryl goes, yeah. I understand. And that's when something changes inside Daryl. He does understand that this is not going to be as easy to do as he thought and had hoped it was going to be. So let's take a look at how the scene was cut fairly straightforwardly. Then you're going to couple that with the lily floral design. It, it's like a perfect package. It is, it's solid, but it's restful. And so he's selling them. <clears throat> Are you sure that I shouldn't be talking to your mom, kid? All right, something's changing. Yeah, okay. Um, look. The facade 
has gone. Has there gone. is no such thing as a free burial, okay? Can I put a like, deposit down or pay later or something? No. No, the uh, money has to be up front. I'm sure you understand. So yeah, I understand. We have other packages. Is you notice that all the picture cuts are coming at the same place as my sound cuts. And the first close-up was on Maury. First close-ups are incredibly important in the scene because they help to focus who's important. Uh, let's see if we can make a couple of changes here and help us to accentuate that first reading. Maury realizes that he's not going to get a good sale here. Are you sure that I shouldn't be talking to your mom, kid? So, so maybe, maybe we, we can, can add, add a little, little bit more on the head of Maury's shot. shot. So, he's thinking. <clears throat> Are you sure that I shouldn't be talking to your mom, kid? And let's also add a little bit more to the head of, are you sure these are the prizes? Notice what we are doing is we are increasing the amount of thought that Maury has before his two key lines. <coughs> are you sure that I shouldn't be talking to your mom, kid? These are the prices. Okay. We have forced the audience to be inside Maury's mind. But we've already established by looking at what the entire movie is about that this is not Maury's movie. In fact, it's Daryl's movie. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that Daryl gets the emphasis in here. One of the first ways of doing that is cutting to Daryl's close-up first and not letting Maury get the first close-ups. The lily floral design, it, it's like a perfect package. It is, it's solid, but it's restful. Are you All right. So notice two things that I've done. One is Daryl gets the first close up there, but even more important, Daryl is listening while Maury is talking. So what is this going to do for us? It's going to put us more in Daryl's head because there's a lot less of Maury's thought process for us to see. Now there's one more place that we had mentioned that uh, we felt was important and that was in the change where Daryl begins to feel that this is going to be a lot harder than he thought. So this lean forward moment is super important. Can I put a deposit down or I pay later? No. No, the uh, money has to be up front. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Uh but maybe we can even add something to this. At this moment here, when we cut back... I'm sure you understand. Yeah. That was the moment that uh, we had highlighted in the script as being a potential lean-forward moment. So let's um, accentuate that by putting more of Daryl thinking before he talks. Money has to be up front. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Uh so we have re-edited the scene just in very slight ways using two things, the pacing, and we've also changed what I call the values of the scene. We have placed more footage of Daryl on camera than of Maury, thereby letting us know Daryl's emotions are important. Norman, there are so many different ways that we could have edited this scene. How do you decide which one to use? Mm -hmm. Well, it won't surprise you at all when I answer that, it depends upon the story you want to tell. So if you understand your entire movie, which in this case is about Daryl's coming to terms with his brother, um, then you understand what the scene is supposed to do, which is about uh, how it's going to be more difficult to deal with it than he thinks. That's how this scene pushes the overall log line of the movie forward. Then you break it down even further and say, where in this scene does that change happen? And that's what we're doing. We're crafting change. We're helping the audience to be manipulated in a positive way. We'll be back with a tip right after this. With the availability of plugins and compositing tools, it's very easy for the technical to overwhelm your story. But you should always ask yourself, what tells my story best at this particular point in time? If it's a dissolve, do a dissolve. 
If it's a straight cut, do a straight cut. Never make an aesthetic decision for a technical reason and never change your editing to make a stylistic point. Editing is more than software. It's much, much more than getting your shots in the right order. Editing is about pacing and point of view and telling the audience how they should feel. All guided by story. My name is Larry Jordan. His name is Norman Holland. And thanks for watching The Two Real Guys. Thank you.